it's one of the topics that you'd be hard pressed to find critics of. Parents certainly would welcome this kind of advice from the president, at least on swine flu. He's going to encourage school children across this country to wash their hands to be vigilant. But there's also another effort going on here at schools like this one and throughout this nation to keep the doors open longer this year than they did in the spring amid those fears that the flu would spread so rapidly. As millions of children head back to school this week, the first test just might be how much they know about swine flu. Even the president today in that address to the nation's school children will offer a reminder in his own words. Wash your hands a lot and stay home from school when you don't feel well so we can keep people from getting the flu this fall and winter. <coughs> Doctors and nurses have already seen how quickly swine flu can spread among young people who are in close quarters. One freshman at Washington State University who got it told us it wasn't as bad as the regular flu. Just like a really bad cold, like I, the flu is so much worse. But she is among the 2,000 students on this campus alone who've come down with H1N1 swine flu already. And authorities are taking note of how long it's lasting. So far, two to three days. There's no guarantee it won't get worse, but so far, doctors welcome their findings. Most of the people who have gotten the H1N1 virus have recovered actually more rapidly than we would expect with even seasonal flu. But there is one more concern. As younger children now head back, the first line of defense will often be the school nurse. And in some states, there are worries the crush of six students could overwhelm the number of nurses. Only 13 states meet their goal of one nurse for every 750 students. And at this high school in North Carolina, just one nurse visits the school with 2,300 students, and she visits just once a week. If she's busy at another school, there's an emergency comes up at one of the other schools she's working at, we might not have her here. And back to that Washington State University campus, the hardest hit so far across this country. Word this morning that about 40 to 50 students have reported to health services in the last day or two. That's down from 150 a day last week. So encouraging signs, Diane, and the first real window to the length of this flu, at least this wave of it, two to three days encouraging. But doctors and nurses are saying be vigilant. It might not be that easy elsewhere around the country.